This is Mike Check TV. This is Chris Love. We're broadcasting live from the connector in Madison, Tennessee. Uh, I've got a very special guest in the building with us. I've got the lovely, the talented Miss Angie Steele from Let's Talk Blog. Hey guys. All the way from Memphis, Tennessee. She actually just drove up here this morning and I wanted to talk to her today about blog talk. Okay, well let's well, talk about this blog talk. Well first of all, let everybody know a little about you Angie. You're from Memphis. Right? Yes. You started this blog talk just maybe a few years ago, maybe a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to start the show? Oh my gosh. First of all, uh, it was all about inspiration at first. And uh, then I got on YouTube and realized that, hey, you can make money doing this. I yeah. thought I had the personality and uh, I had just lost my mom. She died all of a sudden on the 4th Sorry. of July. Thank you. And. Uh, I used it for inspiration at first, and then it just got better. I'm like, you know what, let's start a talk show. And Facebook came out with a live, mm -hmm. and it's been going ever since. So, what was your very first show like? My very first show, yeah. oh gosh, crazy. Um, wild, wow. uh, who did I interview? Can you, can you recall? Okay, so the very first show was really me and a, a young lady named Montoya. She's okay. a, a therapist and was helping people get through their life situations, whether it be relationship, um, just needing advice, things like that. Okay. And uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. The viewership was what made it awesome. I guess when you're doing the Facebook Live and you're having the feedback, you have all the words coming up, it just makes you more interesting and people just want to talk. I noticed that when your show is broadcasting and I jump in it, <laughs> everybody else in there showing love, thumbs up, heartbeats yeah. pounding. Yeah. And it's a, it's a very interactive blog show. So yes. if, you, if you ever get a chance to, to listen to the show, can you tell us how can we get a hold of listening to the show? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have two pages on Facebook. You can go under Angie Steele, and that's S-T-E-E-L-E. -E -E, or you can Google or search it out on Facebook under the Let's Talk blog, V-L-O-G. Let's Talk blog. When I think about Let's Talk blog, because one of the subjects you were, you were in a spa. Oh, yeah. In Memphis. Oh, yeah. You and, remember and, that one? And Angie was wilding out in the spa. <laughs> I was not. She I was, was on getting, my... getting her massage thing going on. She had to... What you have on your face? Okay, what? First of all, okay, uh, yeah, it was a live vlog, okay. and I was at the spa, and uh, and shouts out to Big Cypress Spa. They're one of my sponsors. Um, they just opened up at the Pyramid, okay. uh, which is the Bass Pro Shop. Right. Um, yeah, I had my little towel on, and my hair was wrapped up. At that time, I had hair, y'all. <laughs> had my hair wrapped up, and uh, we were talking about the services, but they were treating me, treating me to a new, uh, nice massage and a facial. She didn't have the cucumber eye patches on, though. I did not. Yeah. I, I, you need to see my eyes. I like the show because the show was fully interactive. She was here earlier broadcasting live yeah. uh, with, with, with Cabin Love, and she had so many people interacting with the show. It was amazing. So I talked to you on, the, uh, on Facebook yeah. Messenger. I met her Facebook Messenger, believe it or not. Yeah. She saw Cabin's video and she mm -hmm. was excited about it and I she would. wanted to come up and interview him. So, shouts out to Andy for doing that. Oh, like, thank you. Because a lot of people in the in the industry locally, they said they'll do something, but sometimes they don't always meet that expectation. Yeah. So, shouts out to you. Thank you so much. Um, where do you see the show going? Like, as far as what is your final goal for the show? Actually, you know what? Um, I think we were talking about this earlier. This is just really practice. Um, I get to work on my public speaking, um, but I'm on my own show and it's going to happen. I feel it. Uh, yeah. it's, it's like, I don't like to say the universe, but I feel like God is leading me down that path right. and I'm meeting the people and sometimes you have to take opportunities that um, are coming your way and this is one of them. I'm like, yeah, let me roll down 40. So if we, if we invite you back to come back and do more, you'll do more, right? You already know. Oh, I love it. I love so, it, Angie. Who are your biggest influences? Like getting you to this point? Uh, my mom, my mother. My mother used to always tell me to uh, Angie be the light in dark places, and Angie go be great. And um, again, she died suddenly, and I just feel like I need to carry that torch out and make my mom proud. And I think I am. Uh, a lot of people are hip to what we're doing, and so I feel as though I'm moving in the right direction. All right, so let me ask you this. For all the young ladies out there that listen to your show, yeah. who know you, who know what you do, what is it that you can say to them that, that you want to pass on? You know what? I put something on Facebook uh, as I was driving up, and I said, for all you single moms out there that uh, don't, let, don't let having a child stop you. 
I have my son here with me today. I didn't have a sitter, but guess what? Don't let anything stop you. You can do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, I believe in roles, but <laughs> I'm gonna stay in a woman's place, but and, and, and you may ask me what's a woman's place, but we can talk about that outside of this, but um, I just believe in just working towards your dreams, whatever it is, you can do it. I see a lot of that chatter on social media when mm -hmm. it talks about the single mom, meeting the new guy, and some of that guy's expected obligation to that relationship if they become, so we don't talk about it. Oh, right? Lord. So, okay. Because I, I have a perspective like if you're, if you're with someone and you're in a relationship with someone yeah. and they have a child, basically you have to love both of those. Yeah. Kind of you have to love both of those individuals and respect them the same and kind of take on that adoptiveness yeah. of, of, that, of that child as well. Is that is that something that you see is happening a lot, or is it the opposite of that? Well, first of all, um, come on, I, Angie. Not in a relationship, but I feel as though you have to, uh, if you want to be with somebody, you have to take on uh, a role, especially if you're calling yourself loving someone. Right. But if it's from a friendship standpoint, then that's a little bit different. You're just friendly, right? Right. But if you're loving someone, then of course you're. Um, Pulling in and reeling in what you want because right. you're setting a different tone for the relationship. What I've noticed is most ladies they take time before they introduce that new person mm -hmm. to the child. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So that so that's why that's what I'm kind of like getting at. It just takes time for you to introduce whoever the new person is going to mm -hmm. be in your life to your to your child. I think that it's important to, to kind of reel in slow. I think that maybe they may see the person that's differently from interacting with the child. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's, it's like different. they may see you, they may see you pick me up, but that don't mean you interacting, interacting with my kids. With the kid, right. Don't mean they really know your name. This is true. But um, like I said, it's all about building relationship. And uh, I think once two people decide that something is right for them, then they begin to participate a little bit more and differently with the kids and with the, the other person. Does right. that make sense? That makes total sense. That's, okay. this, this is the hot fire that you get from oh, the Let's Talk. Oh gosh. I this mean, is I, not I, hot I, fire. This is, this is, what, what is hot fire? Wait, well, I was going to put it some other way, but oh, well, this really? is that volcano that really? you guys this get. Yeah. Volcano. Okay. <laughs> I love your show, Angie. Um, oh, thank you. Who are, who are some of the guests that you expect to have on the show? Oh, yay. Okay, so I have uh, Kara Powell. We're okay. going to talk, discuss the weight. I don't know if you've read that book. It's by Devon Franklin and his lovely wife, actress, Megan Good. And after that, we have The Brow Bay, one of my biggest sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, this girl is doing it up when it comes to the brows and lashes. Uh, and then I think I know I'm booked up, but I cannot tell you everybody after that because my sponsorship has been growing so fast I saw and that. so well yes the um, i think it's great that i have a secret to success you guys will have to just book me to find out <laughs> yes got, got i got the secret okay. yeah so uh but we have a host of people coming up i just suggest that you guys follow my page on facebook let's talk blog or you definitely can follow me under angie Steele. You heard it from the queen herself. Aww. This is Chris Love with the lovely and talented Angie Steele from Let's Talk Blog. Uh, we're at the Connector, broadcasting live in Madison, yes. Tennessee. This Thank is you, Mike Connector. Check TV. Yes. Thank you for coming, Angie. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. All right.